You're listening to the Transform Your Life from the Inside Out podcast. This episode is titled, Conversations with a Sorcerer. Now, if you've been listening for any amount of time, you know that my brother-in-law, Don Javier, is a shaman, a babalao, a sorcerer, on the wall, and he's a real sorcerer. I mean, many people call themselves shamans. He is a real shaman that started apprenticing in Mexico when he was a little boy. There's also a guy on YouTube. I don't know anything about him, but he calls himself also Don Javier. That's not my brother-in-law. My brother-in-law does nothing public. Anyway, a couple of days ago, actually yesterday, he called me, and we had a long conversation about some family things. He is my brother-in-law. And we had some conversations about some of the things happening on the planet. Many of you that are listening can relate to maybe feeling a little different, a little, a little wonky, a little out of sorts, a little exhausted for the last while, last several years. And I want to address that in this episode. And this is going to be a very informal episode. I took a lot of notes when he and I talked. I always take notes and I have for years or I record the conversation. But I took notes, and today I was thinking about what I wanted to do for this episode. And I said to myself, why not just share with everyone listening? Because it'll help a lot of people, and a lot of people can relate. So, if you'd like me to share the conversation with Don Javier about things that are happening to humanity and changes on the planet, keep listening. Okay, so my conversation with Don Javier yesterday... I do want to point out, I want to, I want this to be a very informal episode, and they generally are, but this is even more informal. A lot of my students and a lot of people that I work with are spiritualists, and they're very much in the spiritual growth and evolution and spiritual practice. And they've been reporting, especially the last couple of years, how tired they are so often, how exhausted they are, how the energy seems so intense how they seem just worn out from the energies on the planet. And the planet's changing, but not the planet per se. Well, the planet's changing too, uh, but humanity is changing. Now, in former episodes, you heard Gary Zukov and I talking, and he said that we are in one of the greatest changes in humanity. And what used to take many, many, many years is happening in a couple of decades. And he calls, he was saying, I tell you this for past content, you know, he was saying that we're becoming multi multi sensory beings. And I may be tripping over my words because candidly, I am so exhausted in this moment and it's not even late and I'm a night owl. I'm so exhausted from the energies today. The full moon is tomorrow. I could lie down on the floor and take a nap right now at 930 at night. Anyway, so there are changes happening on the planet, and I wanted to share the conversation we had, the bullet points, and curious about your thoughts. I wish we were dialoguing, but thoughts in terms of how you're receiving it, because we're in a place in the evolution of human consciousness right now where we are evolving as a species. And again, Gary said we're evolving into multisensory beings. Now, if you listen to the podcast for any amount of time, you know me, you know my style, and you know I talk pretty much 90% of the time or 80%, I don't know, about spirituality. And if you're new to the podcast, meaning you just found me this week, it may be a little kind of a weird conversation, but that's okay. You're here for a reason. There are no accidents. So when he called me yesterday, and he was a phrase that we use is fried. I mean, just exhausted. He was fried beyond belief. And I know that if I'm fried, I know that he is mega fried. I mean, I know that he's pretty much having a really hard time physically. Now, I'm just going to talk to you guys because a lot of people can relate to this. When I say I'm fried, there are some days that are perfectly normal days. Some days I am beyond exhausted for no obvious reason. and. I do follow the solar cycles. We're having extremely, extremely erratic solar flares right now that are affecting the planet in a very challenging way, energetically. And I know that when solar activity is really intense, 
and the sun is really acting up because we're bioelectromagnetic, everything is physics, when the sun is acting up, I know that it's going to affect me in some way. Now, I don't know to what degree, but I know it's going to affect me. And it just knocked me sideways today. So if you're feeling an an ordinary amount of just exhaust exhaustion, and you kind of feel like, you know what? I just want to plop down on the floor, the couch, bed, whatever it might be. The hell with the rest of the day. I'm even laughing here is that my, I don't know what they're called, loom, loom cube or whatever, my light behind me normally, that sets a little bit of ambi ambience, not much. It wasn't even working and I'm like, the hell with it. I'm going to do this podcast and go to bed. But anyway, I, I made probably about 15 or 20 bullet points and I want to share them with you. So he said, and I'll just read it in order like we talked about it. I did not organize anything, et cetera. I just, I'm going to read you my notes. And he said, these times have to happen. Now, what he was referring to is all the chaos in the world. I mean, you look at the extreme amount of chaos in the world. Gary Zukov was talking about the same thing but in different language. And the world's coming apart. I mean, the world's coming unglued. Humanity is coming apart at the seams. You look at the things that are happening on the planet. I mean, we are in mass, mass, mass. By the way, no, no reason to go into fear about it. But mass, transition, transformation, and chaos. Now, a lot of these things he didn't elaborate on. And we wanted to talk about some family things, so I didn't ask him. But I'm going to infer what I think he was meaning, because again, I've known him for, you know, 30 years now. But he said, these times have to happen, meaning the chaos. My interpretation of that is that in the cycles of life, something has to die. Winter comes for something new, the spring so right now, we are in the winter of humanity. The worst thing you can do is get into your fear. And I'm not going to go into it. I'm not going to share on this episode. But he's told me for the last, I don't know, two, three years. And he's told me all of this was coming for, for 25 years now. And I've watched it build. But he said the next seven years until 2030... The chaos is just going to get more and more intense. I'm going to talk about how you can take measures to protect yourself in this episode and how to do that. But he said things are only going to get more intense and it's going to build. And the next couple of years are going to be more turbulent and it's really going to get bad near the end of the decade. And I think he was saying 2027, 28, 29, and then a big kaboom in 2030. Now, when I say kaboom, I don't mean a bomb, but I mean just the unraveling of human structure, whether they be social structures that are old and archaic, whether it be economics, government, political, whatever it might be. I guess government and political systems are the same thing. But the world's coming unraveled because it needs to happen so that we can heal and evolve and grow as a species. And then he said here, next bullet. People are awakening. And we see a huge searching from people looking for something spiritual. And this started back in the 90s. And, and before that, but it became more mainstream back in the 90s with Deepak Chopra, Wayne Dyer, uh, speakers like that. And he said, people are awakening. And I'm going to jump around here a little bit. And he said, there are nine different categories of chosen ones. Now, when I say chosen ones, he's told me, and he can see what I can't see, which is actually what he wanted to talk to me about on a personal matter uh, yesterday because he can see things. But when he said chosen ones, he's told me before, and I'm going to just use some vernacular language. I'll, let me just go over, all over the place here. He said, the reason the planet is so populated, and we are one of the most overpopulated planets in our sector, meaning this particular galaxy. He said, the, he said this many years ago, too. 
The reason this planet is so overpopulated, basically a simple human metaphor is people want to come see the show. They want to be part of this experience of what's happening on planet Earth right now. And given that and sharing that, a great question to ask yourself would be, why? Why am I here now in this time? You know, you could have been born in 1875 and left in, you know, 1960. You could be born 25 years from now, not on the planet currently. And the question is, why now? Why are you here now? I also, and I, I'm not real good at filters, and I get a good chuckle sometimes out of some of the YouTube comments out of people that are very dense which I'll touch upon in just a moment. See, they call me stupid and they say, I read a comment on YouTube last week about fantasy land and things that I talk about, etc." And I don't have a judgment about that and that we're all on our own journey. But many of these people are asleep that make comments like that. Now, what I mean by that, let me jump around here a little bit again, sorry, is nine different categories of chosen ones. And I didn't ask him to go into it yesterday when we were chatting. But basically, it's like nine stratifications. We are all chosen ones. Metaphorically, we're all raising our hands. I want to go. I want to go. I want to go to that planet Earth in this particular time. So no matter how challenging your life is, hey, you chose to come. But the question, again, for the second or third time, why now? Why did you choose? What caused you to choose to come now? So he said, you know, there are nine different categories of chosen ones. And he was inferring that we are all at different levels of evolution in those nine categories. And to me, because I've been around there for so long, that made sense. And a metaphor that I've used before is he has said, we're all going home. All of us, everyone on the planet is going home. But it's like we're riding a train and a really long train. And there's some people at the front of the train, those that are more evolved and growing, and there are some at the back of the train. But it doesn't matter. We're all on the train going home. And what he was saying is that most of humanity, the metaphor that I'm using on the train, most of humanity is dormant, meaning they are asleep. And they're asleep I'm going to use my own languaging, and he said this for years, and this is why I've been working with him. He said they're asleep because they're so trapped in one part of their duality. Now, again, these are my words, not his. They're trapped in their human ego. They're trapped in their human identity. They're trapped in everything is what I can see and taste and touch and feel and and have a physical experience with, with my 3D physical senses. So we run the whole gamut and we be the whole gamut of that into the higher frequencies of many people that come into TCP, my transformational coaching program, even though it helps people evolve their 3D egos and things in our 3D life because we're dualistic, we're physical and non-physical, Many, many, probably 95% of people come and they're looking for evolution of self, self and growth of self. And people that are dormant aren't looking for anything. They're simply trapped in their nine to five job, metaphorically speaking, their paycheck, their 3D physical reality. This is my experience of life and this is all there is. And, you know, th that's it not recognizing that some things are happening on the planet. And what he was saying is this, is I got my notebook here, my trusty notebook, because I made notes all the way through the conversation, but I made more bullet points than anything. He said um, that the reason the masses are dormant, and I've already alluded to it, but I'll say it in a different way. He said the reason the mass, he said the reason that people are dormant is because they're absorbed. He did, he did use the word absorbed. They're absorbed. I'm going to use my word, but I've also heard him use this word before, and he does not cuss a lot. He said they're absorbed in their shit. Now, what does that mean, to be absorbed in your shit? 
Hey there, let me segue from the episode for just one moment. When you go to jimfortin.com slash TCP, jimfortin.com slash TCP, you will read this sentence at the top of that page. The sentence says, if you're done being stuck, frustrated, and living by circumstance, it's time for you to transform your life from the inside out. The fact that you're here means, literally, it means that you wanna create a lot more in life. However, it's not just about gathering information. This is why you gather information and you go right back into your old patterns and your ruts over and over and over again. Transforming your life is about also seeing your blind spots and seeing things that you don't have the ability to see. And that's what the coaches that I help you do is see parts of yourself that you don't even know that exist subconsciously. So for the next 72 hours from today until Friday at 11.59 PST, the doors are open again to the full transformational coaching program. It's a 13 week program where you get to work with me personally and my coaches, and we're going to help you quite literally transform your life from the inside out. Oh yeah, there's zero risk, why? Because you've got a full money back guarantee. You can go through the entire program, and if we don't deliver what we say we're going to deliver, simply ask for a refund. jimfortin.com slash TCP, and I'm looking forward to working with you and helping you quite literally create a better experience of life by transforming your life from the inside out. Okay, back to the episode. 25 years ago, he called me and says, you have to go on a sacred journey to Peru with me. And there's a big backstory behind it. I won't go into it now. And he said to me, he goes, metaphorically, he goes, you need to hop in the shower and you need to wash the shit out of your life. You need to wash away these toxicities of ego. And these toxicities of ego not, not all of these apply to me, but I'm going to share because there are things that apply to me, but I'm going to just share the gamut of what they could be. And maybe you can pick and choose because we're all on the planet learning our lessons. But the toxicity of ego, anger, shame, greed, envy, self-importance, resentment, vindictiveness. And another way to put that is the negative emotions. So what Don Javier is saying here in a nutshell is that the all of the negative emotions that you get into literally are all of the physical experience here on the planet. And if you bathe yourself and trap yourself in the emotions and the experience of the human planet, then what you do is you cut off the higher awareness and the sense to the higher functions of your mind, the higher, excuse me, the higher functions of your being. And when we have that, we have awareness. We are, I'm, I think I've said it before, I am clairsentient. I can feel people. I'm not clairaudient for the most part, though I've had those experiences. Definitely not clairvoyant, but I am clairsentient. And that's what's helped me become such a successful coach and get the results with people that I have because I can feel them when I'm working with them. And I know, even if they don't know it and they don't show it, I know they're when they're when they're in their anger or their shame or they're hiding or they're afraid to be judged or different things. Now this applies to all of us. So I guess what I'm asking you is what are you absorbing yourself in when it comes to your emotions? And the opposite of what I just shared would be to absorb yourself in peace, unconditional love and acceptance. You look at the planet we live on in the conditions of the planet all over the world. It's happening in France. It's happening in Italy. It's happening in Canada. It's happening in Australia. And for 50% of the listeners, it's happening in the United States. 50, 60, 70% of the population is absorbed in their anger and their 3D ego and their righteousness and their pride and their jealousy and their greed and all these kind of things 
that humans have the opportunity to get into if they choose. And then he said that when people get into that, and he said this to me and many of us that worked with him for many years, he goes, it, now it doesn't affect him, and I've watched him, but he goes, when people get into their shit, it drains them and it drains people around them energetically. So notice days that you've gone to work or, or whatever it might be, and notice how you might have been in your angry your anger that day or somebody made you mad and you spent all day, maybe even your partner, you spent all day fuming and seething and angry. And then notice at night many times, you're like, oh my God, I'm exhausted. I just want to go to bed. Well, we're draining ourselves energetically when we get into that. And we have to be careful with that because we're wasting our power when we do that. And he said, when people get into their three, I keep calling it their 3D ego. But when people get into these emotions in their 3D ego, he said here, it puts them to sleep. Meaning it shuts down my language, my words. It shuts down all their functions of higher sense, higher mind, higher awareness. Now, being on the planet, I can tell you. Now, I've, I've had the good fortune of being on this path with him now for 28 years. And I remember one time his mentor, Don Juan, saying to me, and he used to call me Jaimito. He goes, Jaimito, I have beat and I have beat and I have beat the anger and the ego out of you, and I will continue to beat it out of you until you drop it. Well, anger, I, I, I don't really get into that anymore. I used to 25 years ago, very toxic, but the ego I'm still working on. I think it's pretty obvious. I'm still working on it. We all have our lessons, so there's no judgment. There's no judgment from you judging me or me judging you. We have our lessons. But the reality is we have to let go of the shit so we can grow. And then when we grow, we open up the higher function of mind and higher frequencies. So I don't know why he said it again, but I just wrote it. So I'm going to read my notes so I don't get too far off track. But he said the chaos actually, like I have here, the chaos on the planet equals the awakening of humanity. Then, when you look, let's say, at the United States, I mean, it's, it's incomprehensible, the things that happen behind the scenes in government and the things that the super, super wealthy on the planet do to those that are not. And the exploitation of the super wealthy, I mean, the mega wealthy, the ones who run the planet, to the masses. And... He said the chaos equals awakening. So we tend to look at the chaos and many people go into their fear about it. We tend to get into our chaos and go into fear about it. And we need to recognize the chaos is a blessing in disguise. Now, it might be a shitstorm right now because you're like, this is crap. I didn't sign up for this. I mean, the world's crazy. I was reading on in the news yesterday, and I just scanned the news. I don't spend a lot of time in the news because it's not news, and most of it's toxic. But I saw a poll that said 50% of Americans, 50%, I think 47% of Democrats, 48% of Republicans, and 55% of Independents expect that the 2024 political election between Donald Trump and Joe Biden will bring violence. So as I've said before, what you see before your eyes and patriotic flag-waving Americans, which is what Donald Trump promotes, that model is crumbling. Why? Because like Gary Zukov said, it's a model based on human ego and all of those structures are crumbling. So what you really want to ask yourself is, what do I want to happen for me? Do I want to crumble like a pile of rocks in the backyard? Uh, the rocks on a rock yard because I've just crumbled because I've given myself to the world? 
or do I want to grow and evolve? Do I want to be of service in the world? And he went on here to say is that by choice, and that's the word he did use, guys, when I say I'm accentuating what he's saying, it's because I don't want to twist his words because that'd be a, a violation of what he gave me many years ago called the codes of conduct, meaning misrepresenting something that would lead people in the wrong direction. So many times when I say, well, this is exactly what he said, that's what he said. And if I say, well, these are my words, it's because I am paraphrasing what he said. But he said, many people by choice don't see what they need to see about the awakening. Now, what does that mean? Many people by choice don't see what they need to see about the awakening. What that means is, it's my choice, my free will, if I want to be in my anger and my shit and my resentment and my vindication and all these kind of things, that's my choice. But that choice that I'm making is hurting me. If I were to do that, and I'm doing my best to evolve and grow even more, to be out of that. And that's when peace sets, a, sets in for us. Peace, harmony, and alignment. Alignment with higher frequencies that are coming to the planet. Because the higher frequencies that are coming to the planet are frequencies that are awakening us to higher function of existence as a species. Everything in the universe evolves. We are evolving and we happen to choose to come here to the planet at a time when we're right in that little, like, at the edge of evolvement. So we can metaphorically, my words or vernacular, we can literally pull the plug on a bathtub and go down the drain with all of our shit. Or we can metaphorically stand up, evolve and grow, and evolve and grow to a higher, to a higher functioning being and being a higher, being part of a higher functioning species on the planet. Some of you might be wondering how long this is going to take. I don't know. He's been talking to me about this since 1996, 1997. I could sit here literally if I had energy and it was a proper place. I could talk to you for a hundred hours, literally with everything he shared with me over the years. But basically, he and I were talking, I don't know, last month or something about something. He and I chat a lot a lot about different things, whether it be family or pets, the animals, the house, whatever it might be, we chat. And basically his whole premise is we have to make a choice, all of us, is that choice that we grow and evolve or we don't. And there are consequences with that choice. And then he said, there are many people not paying attention to alignments. And that's kind of how I started this episode, because I said things are very intense. And I mentioned the full moon, but he had also mentioned the planetary alignment that's happening right now between several planets in the solar system. And we all have gravitational pulls on each other. It affects us right here, wherever in the hell you are, whether you're in Australia, Canada, Russia, Wherever, we're all part of the frequencies and energetics of the planet. By the way, the electromagnetic poles are also collapsing and shifting on the planet, and you're a bioelectromagnetic being. But what are you paying attention to? So, and he's also told me over the years that many people that don't even notice anything, and there's, and I promise, he doesn't judge, he does not. Many people that don't even notice anything, they're like, la di da la di da day in the park, day in the great day. Today. Well, of course, it can be a great day any day. But when they don't notice anything, that's because they're asleep to higher frequencies, higher levels of energy that are coming to the planet and coming to them for their own evolution. So let me see what else I have here in my notes. And he says... When 
a person is not noticing anything happening on the planet, meaning they're into the ego about politics or fear about the economy or whatever it might be, they're not aligned with who and how they need to be at an energetic level to grow and evolve, which I'm going to use my words, which means they're not growing and evolving, but they're going backwards. They're going to lower frequencies and being sucked in like a vacuum cleaner, being sucked in to the lower frequencies on the planet. We have to get outside of that. And you might be wondering how to get out of that. And by the way, some of you, I, a lot of very savvy spiritual people follow me and they're like, oh yeah, Lion's Gate and all that. And it's like, no, it's not the Lion's Gate. It's a, it's a very particular planetary alignment that's happening. And many times he shares things with me. He's like, scientists don't even know this is happening or astronomers or physicists or whatever. And then he'll say something. And then 10 years later, scientists will be, oh, we discovered X, Y, Z or this or that. And he's like, I told you that 10 years ago or however, just as an example, however many years ago that might be. Why am I sharing all this with you? The reason I'm sharing it is two reasons. One, ego. I had another podcast episode prepared and I'm like, nah. Number one, I am fried like a fried green tomato today because of the of things that are happening. And secondly, I wanted to see who it would resonate with. I have a I have a request, a favor. If any amount of what I said today resonated, would you do me a quick favor, please, and email my support team? And I'm sure with the amount of downloads we have of the podcast, they're going to get inundated. I just want to see what's going to come in. Would you simply send a little short email to support at jimforton.com? That's all I'm asking for. Just a simple email. Don't ask for a return or any of that because my support person is going to be swapped with this, I do believe. If it's anything like the past. But just simply say, yeah, you can even say three words and simply say, I can relate. If you can relate to what I'm talking about in this episode, the reason why is if you can relate to this, I will do a lot more higher frequency podcast like this about ways that we can grow and evolve and things that are happening on the planet. And I also want to share that, what do I want to share? I also want to share that the way, let's start simple, okay? And this is where he started all of us that work with him many years ago. I also want to share that the easiest way to raise your frequency is to be in peace and love and to get out of the anger. And I'm going to do some more episodes on anger specifically because so many people have issues with anger whether it be low-grade anger or high-grade anger, they have issues with anger. But the easiest way to evolve your frequency, to call in higher frequencies, is to, and this will be your transformational takeaway, the easiest way to grow and evolve is to let go of the 3D density, the things that hold you back, and open up to higher function of mind by opening your heart and being peace and love and gratitude and coming to the planet to grow and being grateful for this experience and all the things that you're, you're, you're part of right now. I'm going to wrap it up right there, guys. So again, if you can relate, send an email, email to support at jimforton.com and just simply say, I can relate. And I know this episode was kind of a hack. Hey, everything happens for a reason. It is what it is. And I'm looking forward to hearing from you. Thanks for listening and do what you can to make it a great day today. Bye-bye.